Welcome to Medicine Handy Point. The topic is three syndromes, orbital apex syndrome, superior orbital fissure syndrome, cavernous sinus syndrome. These three syndromes have some similarity and some differences. The target of the video is to understand the differences between them and also discuss their similarities and we will briefly touch the causes for these syndromes as well. So let's start with the first syndrome which is orbital apex syndrome. It involves cranial nerve 2, 3, 4, 5. In fact, it involves V1, the ophthalmic division and cranial nerve 6. So based on these in cranial nerves involvement, the features are decreased visual equity and relative apparent pupillary defect due to cranial nerve 2 involvement. Complete ophthalmoplegia, which is due to involvement of cranial nerve 3, 4 and 6. Complete ophthalmoplegia, the eye will be not able to move in either direction. And loss of corneal reflex due to cranial nerve 5, ophthalmic division involvement. This is how the patient with orbital apex syndrome uh, looks like there will be environment of one eye, it may be protruded, it may be red, congested, the eye will not be able to move in either direction. Now causes, so we will divide it into infections like mucormycosis, aspergillosis, which are invasive, aggressive fungal infections. A second cause is inflammatory conditions like Wegener granulomatosis and giant cell arthritis. Uh, they can lead to orbital apex syndrome. The third cause is vascular problems like carotid and cavernous fistula in cavernous sinus. Almost all the uh, these above mentioned nerves travel, so uh, fistula can lead to such problems. And neoplastic like lymphoma and neural tumor can cause it. So infection, inflammatory, vascular, and neoplastic causes leads to uh, this syndrome. Now let's compare it to the, the syndrome which is superior orbital fissure syndrome. It has the same cranial neuropathy except the cranial nerve 2 is not involved as superior orbital fissure is interior to orbital apex so cranial nerve 2 will be spared. The same abnormality but the vision will be intact. The visual equity will be normal and there will be no RAPD. Now, compare, let's compare uh, cavernous sinus uh, syndrome. Cavernous sinus syndrome has the, again the same cranial neuropathy as orbital apex, but with the addition of cranial nerve 5 V2 um, maxillary division, maxillary division and sympathetic fibers to the pupil. So there will be problem sensation on the cheeks and there will be uh, meiosis because sympathetic nerve fibers to the people are affected and there will be bilateral presentation. Both the eyes may be involved because the cavernous sinuses communicate with each other. I hope you will like it and please subscribe.